In that lesson, I want to discuss things that uh, you're going to be able to do via your web UI or CLI. And keep in mind, they are interchangeable. You can even open up a terminal from here. Uh, it's not really recommended to open up a terminal since it's not really useful. I never actually touch it unless it's, a, I don't know, crisis situation or whatever. I blocked SSH port or whatever. Uh, you can open up uh, an SSH to your device, uh, same as, you know, your terminal, but it's way more useful. Whatever you can do in your web UI, you can do in your command line as long as you know a command. You're not ab able to do these things in Smart Console because it's a different thing. And we're going to discuss that as well. All right. So I want to go through everything you can do here. Um, all right. So we're going to start with interfaces. Whatever number of interfaces you um, set up during your installation in ESXi, or if it's an actual appliance, you're going to see it here. You can assign IP address. Let's just click here. You just assign an IP address and the subnet and, you know, just basic networking stuff for like Ethernet uh, layer two or SI modal. Just set it up here. Um, you can do routes as well. Look, the routes that I have here, they fully represent the topology I provided you in the previous lesson. I'm going to pop it up here for your reference. Pretty straightforward, just basic networking routes. Uh, all right, so what else? What else can I show you? Time, you can set up a time, pretty straightforward. I have it here, no NTP server, just regular. I do recommend that you go over these features. I will not show you everything, but I just want to point out some really important stuff that's going to help you in the lab and in the future as well, you know, so you know where to look for that specific feature. All right. So uh, when it comes to routing, apart from static routes and default route, you can set up BGP, IGMP. Um, and um, what you can do as well, you can do OSPF. Oh, OK, it's right here. And RIP, look, static multicast routes as well. OK, here you have advanced routing everything that's related to that uh all right you create users you create you create roles for these users okay let's try create a user we're gonna click add um his login name will be let's do jack password vpn123 which is gonna confirm that as well home directory shell so uh, what that means, shall, whenever he logs into um, a command line, he will be uh, in a certain shell. He can be in clish or he can be in bash or whatever shell you specify. If you do bash, it will be more like, I don't know, let's call it Linux based. If you click clish, it will be more checkpoint based. We're going to discuss that as well. Uh, let's just keep bash for now. Uh, access mechanism, we can deny web access for that user, we can deny command line. All right, and for now we have only two roles available, let's just click admin role, whatever. Okay, I'm going to create that user, um, but you can choose different roles, we have th only three of them, you can add a role and just name it, let's call it um limited let's call it this way <laughs> i don't know it took me a bit of time to create a name for that um and you choose whatever role um for that specific user you want to add uh, it, it's a lot of stuff here just let's say license activation you want that user to be able to activate licenses just click ok oh my god we haven't include more Okay, okay, okay. I see what they're trying to say. Okay, let's say I want to configure something to do with ARP. If we just click here, read and write, we can change that. Um, clustering, configure cluster and load sharing. Okay, it's fine. Read and write. Y y you get the idea, right? You choose the role here and then click OK. 
we have the role uh, created and for the user if I want to change it from admin role you just click limit it and remove admin role you kind of get the idea how it works right so um, all right what else what else is really important here uh, look we have licensing here but that is the most complicated way to do that the way I showed you uh, in previous lesson is way easier just keep in mind you are able to do it from here but whenever you uh, activate a license you have to put everything manually like signature key expiration date IPv4 um, actually you know uh, sometime one once upon a time it, uh, I, I was able to do that I was able to activate li a license through web UI but it's not worth your time really just don't pay too much attention here uh, you can do snapshot here you can do a backup here uh, there is a difference between them we have a lesson you know in our series as well how, uh, and the difference between them and we're gonna do maybe you know both of them uh, we can shut down a system you know reboot it and I would say the most interesting feature that we have here is called upgrade CPUs so this is from where you upgrade your system and um, we're gonna do that as well so just keep in mind we have it here all right guys that's it for now and uh, see you in the next lesson we're gonna discuss what's uh, uh, so interesting in uh, fat client and our smart console let's just go there